the state-of-the-art mobile laboratory handed over to the Ministry of Health by the European Union and IGAD will be used to collect specimens from suspected patients across the country and within the cross-border areas in case of an outbreak of an infectious disease. The Minister of State for Primary Health Care, Margaret Muhanga, noted that the mobile laboratory will be used in COVID-19 surveillance and investigations of disease outbreaks such as Ebola, Mabag, and cholera, among others. The handover ceremony was graced by the Minister of State for Primary Health Care, Margaret Mohanga, European Union Deputy Ambassador, Chartrain, UNOPS representative, and IGAD health expert, Mr. Hamid Idris, among other health experts. The program is targeting cross-border areas and mobile population, including truck drivers, refugees, IDBs, and hosting communities, to provide them through the implementing partners with services for uh, health, WASH, uh, RCCE, GPV. With this lab which is mobile, with everything in it, it will reduce the cost of erecting other facilities and then carrying around the, the, the testing kits and lab equipment to these areas. The implementation partners reiterated the importance of this mobile laboratory in improving access to quality health services, especially in remote areas, by increasing response, resilience and preparedness for current and future health crises. It's part of the Team Europe continuing support for its valued partners facing the pandemics and its consequences, and it's also a testimony to our shared commitments to safeguarding human life. This EU-funded support should especially be valuable to the patients and population in remote areas and near border crossings and the most vulnerable populations in order to receive better medical services. The eu igad program focuses on critical cross-border areas in the region and refugee settlements, all aimed at enhancing IGAD's coordination capacity and increase access to health and wash projects that this has gone a long way in filling the gap in as far as responding to outbreaks uh, is concerned. Marion Awori and Zahara Abigaba, UBC.